Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Mr. Fix-It channel. I got the Players 400 now in the shop again today, and I want to talk about the electronic throttle control, or the Players ETC system, and why you should probably want to keep that thing intact and working. Stay tuned. I sat out there in the shed one evening, not doing too much or nothing, just kind of staring at the wall. So what I'm talking about lives underneath this cover in your throttle. It's the Players ETC, which stands for Electronic Throttle Control. And what this does is it kills power to the engine if the throttle cable were to stick. Now I'm going to pop this cover off, three Phillips screws, get in here I'll show you how this thing works. Careful there is a gasket in here. Alright so this is just a micro switch in here so it just makes contact or it makes or breaks contact is all this does and these are two separate pieces. Let's see if I can demonstrate this. You see that? And then there's a little micro switch in there. So when the cable sticks and you let go of the throttle, it releases that micro switch that triggers the speed limiter to limit the RPMs of the engine to about a thousand, maybe 1200 RPMs ish. I haven't actually tested that. So because this thing's automatic CVT, there's no way to disengage the power from the engine to the rear wheels. And this is your only safety for that, because there's no clutch. So I was curious, so I hooked up this little tachometer to the engine. So I want to know what RPM that it limits it to. So this is just a basic thing. You just take this wire and wrap it around the spark plug wire, and this will tell you your RPM. So it seems like it limits to about 1100 RPMs. So maybe that'll help you in troubleshooting. If, you're, if your engine won't rev past that, it could be that. Now to the best of my knowledge, all these ETC systems work in this similar fashion. So there seems to be a lot of people having trouble with no idle. And a lot of people, the first thing they want to tell them, other than the carburetor of course, is that the ETC switch is not adjusted correctly and really it shouldn't ever kill the engine it should just limit it to about that 1100 rpm ish so i would say that that's not going to be a problem but I'm, I'm not an expert on that and there could be some models like the newer models like the 98 plus so if this isn't functioning the way i've demonstrated here then i would assume something's not correct either the switch is bad or something's unplugged in the rev limiter system and on this but I, I would recommend that this works correctly because let me tell you a little story. So I had this Scrambler 400 back years ago and I was down at my buddy's house and was riding in the woods and I thought it'd be cool and pull a wheelie while a throttle stuck wide open. And of course it pulled a wheelie, stood all the way up on the grab bar and I let go of it and it took off full throttle. Started going into the trees and just a few feet from us and caught a tree and started doing this pirouette upside down backflip somersault uh, cartwheel like the Tasmanian devil and yeah it destroyed itself so imagine being on that in a situation where you couldn't just let go of it. Yeah, you should probably, uh, should probably make that thing work. Well I hope this video helped you out. If you like this video please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing and don't be afraid to fix it. Thanks for watching.